Good morning to all. My name is Dr. B. Sharad Babu. I am working as professor in the Department of Mathematics in Siddhartha Institute of Science and Technology, Puttur. Now, today I am going to discuss about the matrices, the basic definitions of matrices. The main definition of matrix is an ordered rectangular array of n elements is called a matrix. Any particular arrangements of constants, some constants or elements is called a matrix. The simply the matrices are denoted by capital letters, capital A, capital B, capital C and so on. And the elements are denoted by small letters, A11, A12 and so on, AM. These elements is particular arrangements, some square or rectangular or any other form that is called a matrix. The matrix is generally denoted in bracket. So here A, I, J is I through and J to column. Is the order of matrix is a matrix having M rows and N columns is said to be of order M by N or M into N, it really is M by N. You can see the, the type of matrices. Types of matrices is first the column matrix. A matrix containing only one column that is called column matrix. Similarly, row matrix, any number of columns, but only one row that is called row matrix or a matrix having only single row that is called row matrix. Rectangular matrix, rectangular matrix is defined as the number of rows is not equal to the number of columns. And the square matrix, a square matrix is uh, number of rows is equal to the number of columns. So it is read as uh, the order is uh, 2 by 2 or 3 by 3. Simply say that order 2 or order 3. Now, the definition of diagonal matrix. A diagonal matrix is said to be uh, that each non-diagonal elements are equal to 0. That is called diagonal matrix. And see that unit matrix or identity matrix. A diagonal matrix with one on the main diagonals. All diagonal elements are equal to one and, uh, and non-diagonal elements are equal to zero. That is called identity matrix. Now see that null matrix. Null matrix is all elements are equal to zero. That is called null matrix. See the triangular matrix. Triangular matrix, a square matrix whose elements above or below the main diagonals all are zero. There are two types. One is upper triangular matrix and another one is lower triangular matrix. Now up, the upper triangular matrix, each non-diagonal elements below the diagonals are equal to zero. That is called upper triangular. Now see that lower triangular. Lower triangular means uh, above the diagonal elements are equal to zero. That is called lower triangular matrix. Now we discuss about the scalar matrix. Scalar matrix means each non-diagonal elements are all equal to zero and diagonal elements are equal to a scalar or some constant, equal value, same value. That is called scalar matrix. Now, the definition of transpose of a matrix. A transpose means it is uh, interchange rows and columns of a given matrix. That is called transpose of a matrix. See that properties, there are different properties is there. The property of transposed matrices A plus B whole transpose equals to A transpose plus B transpose and AB whole transpose equals to B transpose into A transpose. K into A whole transpose equals to K into A transpose. Here K is constant. And see that fourth property A transpose whole transpose equals to A. Now, we discuss about the symmetric and the skew symmetric. Symmetric matrix is said to be A transpose equals to A. Then A is called symmetric matrix. Suppose if A transpose equals to minus A, that is called skew symmetric matrix. Now the next definition is inverse of a matrix. Inverse of a matrix here, the consider a scalar K. The inverse is reciprocal or division of one by the scalar. 
for example, k equals to 7, the inverse of k or k inverse that is equals to 1 by 7. That is called a here a is inverse of a matrix. Suppose the divisions of matrices is not defined since they may be a b equals to a c which implies b equals to c. Instead matrix inversion is used. The inverse of a square matrix a if exists is the unique matrix a inverse where a into a inverse equals a inverse into a equals to i. Now same it is as the same transpose of a matrix so there it is same as properties of the inverse. A B whole inverse equals to B inverse into A inverse. A inverse whole inverse equals to A. A transpose whole inverse equals to A inverse over transpose. K into A inverse equals 1 by K A inverse. Now the determinant of a matrix. Determinant of a matrix uh, to compute the inverse of a matrix. The determinant is required each square A has unique scalar value called the determinant of A. It is denoted by det A. Now the definition of submatrix. A matrix obtained by deleting some rows and columns or both of a given matrix is called submatrix. See that example. A equals 1, 2, 4, 2, 1, 9 and 5, 2, 3. Then here 1, 2, 2, 1 is a submatrix of A. It is obtained by deleting third row and third column. Now the minor of a matrix. I simply say that the minor of a matrix is the determinant of a square submatrix of the given matrix that is called minor of a matrix. The last definition, the rank of a matrix. It is particular the largest order of any non-zero minor of the matrix or the rank of a matrix equal the order of highest order non-singular submatrix. It is called a rank of a matrix. Rank of a matrix in echelon form is the number of non-zero rows of a given matrix, upper triangular form of non-zero rows that is called rank of a matrix in echelon form. Now the last solution of system of homogeneous and non-homogeneous linear equations. Now the system of linear equations is the form of a11x1 plus a12x2 plus and so on a1n xn equals to b1. Second equation a21x1 plus a22x2 and so on a2n xn equals to b2. In general, AM1X1 plus AM2X2 plus and so on, AMNXN equals to BM. Where all A's and B's are constants, the system of linear equations uh, general form in matrix form AX equals to B. Where A is coefficient matrix and X is the number of unknowns, it is a column matrix and B also column matrix, all B's, B1, B2 and so on, BN. Now A matrix capital A is called the coefficient matrix. And next, and augmented matrix is the combination of A and B elements that is called augmented matrix. Now the definition of trivial solution. Trivial solution is nothing but non-zero solution. Zero solution. Zero solution means all X values are zero. The solution is zero. That is called zero solution. Here X1, X2 and so on, Xn are zero. The system of equation in matrix form as AX equals to B, if B equals to 0, then the system is called homogeneous, that is AX equals to 0. Suppose if B is not equals to 0, the system is said to be non-homogeneous equation. Non-homogeneous equation form is AX equals to B. Thank you everyone.